Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, I'm gonna do a tier ranking of all of the NBA teams post free agency and post the draft. I'm gonna see if they are a champion team, a contender, playoffs, play in, mediocre, or are they straight But We will see. More content like this, make sure to like the video. It really helps the algorithm push this content to people who like sports just like yourself. So make sure to like this video and let's hop right into this. Starting with the Washington Wizards. They signed Jonas Valanciunas. I don't know what that's going to do. I'm going to say they're awful. I don't know. They signed, they got Alex Saar, and I don't think that's going to do, like, he's he's a, he's a good player, I'd say, a good prospect, but he's not going to, to me, push them past awful. They're they going to be awful. Um, the Golden State Warriors, I'm going to say they're going to make the play in. They lost Steph, or well, they keep Steph Curry. They lost Klay Thompson. They, they haven't really added anything. Maybe I'm missing something. They haven't added much, so... This is the twilight years with Steph and friends, so that's it for that. Minnesota, y'all are a contender. Um, I don't think they added anything that was very interesting or like, oh, they're going to win something. But, you know, they played really well last year, made the conference finals. They're probably going to lose in the second round next year. But they're either going to lose in the second round or make the NBA finals. It's one or the other. The Oklahoma City Thunder, I'm going to put you at the top. You are definitely a, and I'm only going to put one person at champion. I'm putting Oklahoma City at contender. They look really good. Honestly, they could definitely make the NBA finals. It's just, I don't know. There's, there's something, like I tell you, when it comes to plot, and I feel like they don't have the aura to make the finals. They probably make the conference finals and lose, but they do have the talent to make the finals. So that's, you know, I'll put you at contender. The Suns, y'all going to be, I'll put y'all playing. Y'all going to come in. Y'all fighting for y'all lives. Katie's old. Booker is probably not happy and then what's my man bradley bill make a lot of money i think he's a fifth richest player ever yeah that's crazy and he yeah that's a tough that's tough but i'm put y'all right there um spurs i'm putting y'all in mediocre adding chris paul is not gonna win you nothing a lot of spurs fans thinking man we got a guy that's gonna make get the ball to Wemby. so now we're gonna block blah blah blah, blah, blah. y'all gonna be mediocre y'all gonna win more games i'm gonna win 30 games but y'all not gonna like win no championship or nothing like let's relax it 76ers, y'all gonna make the playoffs. I don't I, I know y'all people like dang Jesse, they got Paul George. Why are you just saying they're gonna make the playoffs? Paul George injury prone. Joel Embiid injury prone. They going some bad gonna happen. Tyrese Maxey a baller, but everyone else gonna be injured. Eric Gordon, like they have they you know they plot. Like you know what's gonna happen. It's a second round exit. Houston Rockets, I'm going for the smoke. Going for the smoke. I'm gonna say we're gonna make the plan. Now, do I have anything really to back that up besides bias? Not really, but I'm hoping Shangun can turn into an 89 overall player. Jalen Green can turn into an 86 overall player, and Reed Shepard come out, sling them threes. And the team, I mean, it's about it's 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 time. We've been rebuilding. We've added all this talent. We got a good coach. It's time. Let's make the plan. The West is hard, but I'm fine with the 10th seed, bro. I am fine with the 10th seed. The Raptors, I'm saying, I'm mediocre. I have they have Manuel quickly, R.J. Barrett. They don't have anything that's of real importance. I'm, I'm just saying, y'all mediocre. Detroit Pistons, y'all awful for obvious reasons. New Orleans Pelicans, I'm gonna think y'all make the playoffs. I'm not gonna say I could tender yet, but adding DeJounte Murray's dope. I just say that Zion Williamson is injury prone and like I I know y'all's plot, but y'all may make the playoffs. Probably like a five seed and losing the first round. That's that's type that's your plot for sure. The Pacers, that's a tricky one. I could say playoffs. It's the East. I'm gonna say playoffs. If it was the West, y'all be playing for sure. But it's the East. I'm gonna say y'all make the playoffs. Denver Nuggets, I'm putting y'all contender. Y'all at the lower end though, because of the fact that Y'all keep losing, you know, important players like KCP. I lost Bruce Brown last year. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'll put y'all at contender. Brooklyn Nets, I'm putting y'all at awful because y'all are tanking and y'all are trying to give Cooper flag. So, obviously, y'all are awful. The Dallas Mavericks, I'm putting y'all pretty high. Y'all had Clay Thompson. You just made the conference finals. So, I'm going to put y'all at contender. Orlando Magic, I'm going to put y'all on the playoff hunt. Y'all not going to win a playoff. Well, y'all may win a playoff series. I'm not going to win a championship, but y'all can definitely win a playoff series. I'd say Lakers make the play-in because it's the Lakers. They're always going to find a way to make the play-in. And, you know, I know, they didn't add anybody, but they got LeBron and AD and Bronny James. So, you know, they, 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 they'll make the play-in. I'm kidding. Bronny James not going to do nothing for them. But they, they got that. The Knicks, y'all going to be in the playoffs. I'm going to put y'all on the higher end. I think maybe the highest out of these playoff teams. Y'all have a lot of really good wing players. OG Ananobi, Mikael Bridges, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, and Jalen Brunson. I mean, that's a pretty freaking good team, man. I'll take that, man. You just If you, if you kept Isaiah Hardenstein, y'all might have been a contender. But I can, I'll put y'all in playoffs. Sacramento Kings, y'all going to be a play-in team. Um, Utah Jazz, y'all going to be mediocre. I don't even, like, y'all not really going to do anything. I don't know what's on the Jazz. I ain't going to lie. They, I think they're trying to trade Laurie Markkinen. Um, the Hornets, y'all gonna be awful. I don't see the direction. Maybe I'm tripping, but I just look at the team and I just feel like they have absolutely no direction. So I'm saying y'all gonna be awful. 
The Miami Heat always make the play-in. That is literally their bread and butter is just making the play-in. Um, they may win a playoff series. They tend to do that, but the play-in is that's just how they are. The Atlanta Hawks, I'm putting y'all at how many people can I put in the play-in? It's like eight. I think there's no, there's seven to ten. So there is a play-in spot. So I can only put in one more play-in spot. So and yeah, I put the Hawks. So those are four Eastern. So that's the four Western play-in teams. That could be a three Eastern. Well, no, it's five. So obviously one 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 of these guys got to get out. It's fine. We'll figure that out another day. The Hawks, I'll put you on the play-in. The Memphis Grizzlies, I'll put you on the playoffs. I think the fact that, you know, you missed a year. John Morant missed a year, but he's going to come back and he's going to ball out. So I think the Memphis Grizzlies definitely going to be that team that comes back and makes some really good noise. Los Angeles Clippers, man, y'all going to make the playoffs too, but y'all going to be a first-round exit. It's quite Leonard going to get injured like in game one, and then James Harden going to not show up, and then it's going to be the same story every time. So it's, it's going to be the same. Um, Boston Celtics, I'm putting y'all at champion. Y'all have all y'all pieces still. And the East, even though the East is a little stronger, it's not strong enough for me to be like, yeah, they're gonna beat the Celtics. I think the Celtics may repeat. I don't see, I don't know who, I don't know who gonna stop them, man. Maybe the Thunder. Them Cavaliers, y'all gonna make the playoffs. Just resign Donovan Mitchell. So yeah, I think y'all be, you know, first round team. The Bulls are mediocre. They need to trade everybody so they can be at awful, so they can, you know, you know, rebuild. Milwaukee Bucks, I gotta see it to believe it first. I'm gonna say, I'll, I'll say y'all a contender, but I'll put y'all at the end because, you know, Doc Rivers and friends did a terrible job. So I'm putting y'all right at the end. And the Portland Trailblazers are putting y'all at awful because what is on your team? You have some young talent, but definitely has to materialize into something. So this is my tier ranking right here. Celtics, I believe are champions. These are my contenders. People are gonna make some noise and maybe win the championship themselves. These guys are gonna make the playoffs, likely not win a championship, but make the playoffs. The playing teams, the mediocre teams, you know, high, high, low over mediocre. You know, these are teams that are just in straight purgatory, have nothing really. Besides the Spurs, they have something going for them, but the other three don't. And these teams are terrible. So that is the association. That is my predictions. If you agree, comment down below. Uh, and for more content like this, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hey, we have 1,000. Let's get this road to 2,000 going. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one, and I'm out of here. Peace.